Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video, we're going to begin with the creation of the controller warning script. And as you know, we have a scene already set up, but we're actually going to start in the splash screen. And what we're going to do is create an empty game object and we're just going to give this a name of controller manager and then we're going to come to our scripts folder and we're going to create a new C sharp script and we'll call this controller warning and then we're going to attach the script to the empty game object. Now what what's going to happen is this game object's completely invisible and it's going to be instantiated in the splash screen but when we actually load scenes from one to another this game object along with the script is going to remain. So this is going to remain active in the hierarchy no matter what scene we load to. So with that said, let's open the script itself. And before we do anything, of course, we're going to come to the top. We're going to put our little block of comments in. So I'll put my name and finally the today's date and then we'll just continue on and we'll get the variables in place so we'll say public and it's going to be of type texture 2d and what we're going to call it is underscore controller not detected. We're going to close the line off and into the comments. Let me just get rid of that there. And we're going to say creates slot in inspector to assign controller not detected warning text. And we'll come here, I'll create a line break. And we're going to create a series of public bools. So public bool. We're going to say underscore and we're going to say PS4 controller. And pay note to the capitalization here. Now, I know it looks a little bit funny, but please don't worry. Once the script compiles, it will look correct within the inspector here so with that said let's just close that line off into the comments we'll say creates a bool for when a ps4 controller is connected and we'll come to the next line so that's what our bool is it's a true or false statement and we're going to use that true or false statement to see if a ps4 controller is detected we're also going to create a public bool and i'm sure you've guessed what is coming we're going to say underscore xbox controller and we'll close the line off and exactly the same thing and let's just copy the comment and we'll just change out what needs to be changed. Which is this here, we'll just change it to Xbox. And in fact, let's just copy the whole line, let's paste it in. And for this one, it's going to be underscore and we want controller, I'll change that to a small c, detected. Uh, let's change the comments. Creates ball for when a controller is connected. 
So, this or these two variables are designed to allow the game to know what type of controller is detected and then this one is just for if a controller is detected. And we have another public and this time it's going to be static bool underscore start up finished and we're going to close this line off into the comments and we're going to say creates bool for when start up is finished now please don't worry if you do not understand this or about static functions we're not actually going to do anything with this variable other than set it to false um, in this video but we will be coming back in following videos and actually doing more with this variable at which point it will give me a better chance to explain exactly how it works so again please don't worry if you do not understand we will be revisiting it and um, with that said let's say void and we're going to use the awake function this time we'll open and close brackets we'll open and close again and what we're going to say is the underscore ps4 controller is going to be equal to false we'll close line off into the comments so we'll say ps4 controller is false on awake let's just copy that line we'll paste it in below we'll change to xbox controller variable we'll change the comment here i'll just change that typo as well and we'll also paste it in again and this time we're just going to use controller detected is also going to be false on the awake so let's just change the comment we'll change that to a capital c controller detected is false on awake and we're also going to say startup finish is going to be equal to false as well this is the one thing that we are doing with this variable in this lesson we just like as i said we're just going to set it to false and we will be coming back to it but for now we'll just say start up finished is false on awake and we'll come to the void start now as i said this game object is going to remain it's going to remain active regardless of what scene we load to so to make sure that the this game object is not destroyed like game objects normally are when we load from one scene to another we need one simple line of code I'm going to put it in the void start and we're going to say don't destroy on load we'll open and close brackets we'll close the line off inside the brackets we're going to put what we want to remain what we don't want destroying and in this case it's just this because it's this game object that the script is attached to so we'll say in the comments don't destroy this game object when loading a new scene and let's have a look what else we can do in this lesson we can come to the bottom here and we'll just create a private void I'm going to say on GUI 
we'll open and close brackets we'll open and close again we're not going to input any code into this in this video let's just get the script set up please note the capitalization on on and gui all capitals apart from a lowercase n and let's come to the void update and we'll say if open and close brackets we'll come inside the brackets and controller detected and we're going to say double equals true no need to close the line off in this instance let's get the comment in if controller detected equals true we'll come to the next line and we'll just say return and we'll put that into the comments we'll say then do nothing and return and let's save that off there so we basically have our script set up um I think I'm going to leave it here for this video for the simple reason um, in the next video we're going to deal with actually doing like a full block of code within a function so we've got the basics in place all the basics in place so I think this is a good time to end it now and we'll pick it up in the next video so as always I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you next time and until then, as always, bye for now.